We're looking for a, uh, a tunnel tip-off today. We're not doing very well so far. We might have to refer back to the clues. After an unfathomable amount of time, we think we've located this uh, tunnel. Although at quick glance, it looked more like a cave. Crikey, look at that. Looks like it properly goes as well. It's a bit sinky. It's going through the initial bit of water. It's getting deeper. Wow, there it is. You can almost see down to the end, look. That's incredible. There's something put in the tunnel to stop. There's at the end, I can just see there's a big round tunnel that goes through, but it looks like full of like tree stumps or something. It looks like, um, I don't know what it looks like. It's like really crazy mud, but the fact there's no footprints in here would tell me nobody's been this way in a long time. There's our little look ahead there. So it looks like a natural cave that's then been uh, used for maybe a drainage of some kind or transport. It's the outside world. I'm going to make slow progress here. The mud is deeper than the, the water. Where I am now, the water's probably only three or four inches deep, but the mud is closer to like a foot deep. <laughs> I'm literally knee deep at the moment. So, yeah, like I say, it's gonna be slow progress to get to the end here. Oh, it's, um, it's pipes. It's pipes within pipes. Interlinked. Yeah. Blade Runner there, reference. Now then, the interesting thing, you guys can't see it yet, but above this tunnel, there's something else. There is a way up, look, inside, look. Look at that. That was such a freaky noise. That was the train just going overhead. Wow. Good grief, look at it, it goes right up inside there, look. There's a tunnel up above as well. This is incredible. So there's our one way through. And then up above, if you look, looks like there's another tunnel or something up there as well. I'm in two minds about going up here first and having a look. So it maybe goes somewhere, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just fallen. It doesn't look it goes off. So there's something up to the left there if you look. That's really interesting. Okay, now that I've got up further. It doesn't go anywhere, it just looks like possibly this has collapsed, this bit. Or maybe they filled it in somehow. So at least we can eliminate this one. Wow, that's, that's looking through these pipes. Looks like it comes out in some kind of woodland at the end. Wow, wow. These pipes look are just rotted. It's like there's something I've used in ages. Just having to take my time because it's really slippery underfoot. It's like being back in um, Hell Tunnel. Like it's older brother. I went to bits. Yes, progress is extremely slow in here because I'm walking, <laughs> like I'm slipping all over the place all the time. Look at the state of this. It's just falling to bits. We are getting closer though to this. Wherever it goes, possibly, it's rumoured to go to a quarry, this place, but we'll see. 
got a little bit further. The pipes are all broken now. Yeah, difficulty level filming this is absolutely bonkers. I'm doing my best. So just drop back into the water. There's a load of stuff dumped here, look. Electrical things. Crikey, we are out in some kind of woodland now. Well, we've exited. It just looks like it carries on. Look up a path this way. A really boggy path. But I don't see any other signs of tunnels or anything. Yeah, as far as I can see in that direction, there's no more of this. It would appear to be some kind of natural river that just disappears through here, which is quite peculiar. I think here is the, uh, this is the railway line. Yeah, never think it, looking at this little bit, that the tunnel <laughs> goes right through here. It would be more fun finding it from this side, look. So heading back very slowly. So hampered, I can say, by the side of this um, tunnel. You just slip and slide on the spit. You're standing on the edges and just go in. There are a lot of spiders in this tunnel. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool place actually. It was a tip off I got ages and ages ago, so I never followed up. Gosh. I don't mind confined spaces. As long as I can move in them. It's weird um like moth things on the wall. Look. Yeah guys, that was cool. Oh my goodness. So nice to be stood back up again. That is so narrow in there. And you're stuck to one side. <laughs> so you keep slipping into the middle. It's just a case of uh, going back through the, it's almost fudge, I would class it as. I'm gonna follow my fudge steps. Sure, somewhere people would pay money for this. <laughs> Some kind of mud therapy. That's quite magical, look at that. Wow. Yeah, there's loads of bats in here. Is that another train? That's a sketchy sound in here. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone picks it up. It sort of roars through this tunnel. Who would have thought it? The tunnel did offer up something cool. Next time on Street Zips. There's the void in the ground. Some kind of underground river. Crikey. <laughs> wow. Goes right in under there. <laughs>